Uh, let me say, all of this is said very lighthearted and views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Audience Council affiliates, associates, sponsors, you know the deal. We are a 501c3 nonprofit arts and creative lifestyle organization. And for that lifestyle, this creative lifestyle, we do this element called... Let's see, I have Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> hey, how you doing again, Melly? Oh, my You've been on here before, right? I have been on here before. Have you seen me on here before? I have. Which episode? Which one was it? Oh, pineapples. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's trying to find somebody you know it's just like dating you go out with different people so you gotta keep on trying until you find your girlfriend no no he needs to not to he needs to be here just one time for you no i don't have to be one time but he was giving me uncle vibes i mean i know i like unk say you like not like that okay Let's see. Because this it couldn't get no better for proving a point I've often made about where we are with some women, and I hate to say, unfortunately, a lot of black women who feel like, okay, if they got some curves, they got a little junk in the trunk, you know, the big booty, and some, you're on your high horse thinking, you the bomb.com, when damn, baby, yo, you, you, <laughs> seriously? Seriously, at 35, I'm going to be real honest. I thought she had kids. When she said she didn't have kids, I was I was impressed. Um, physical fitness. See, I'm not in the best of shape, but my stomach is not sitting on my lap, which means okay. your stomach should not be on your lap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. Exactly. Um, and a man that... I said, oh, damn, she don't have kids. I was, I was, you know, I seen other pictures of her online. I was like, okay, with them childbearing hips, I thought they had already delivered. You know what I'm saying? In addition to just the way her her physical structure is, uh, to be 35 and be that thick, I thought, yeah, she she got a little baby fat on her. She's trying to get rid of. No, no, she's like ain't got no kids. I was like, uh huh, okay. So that tells me you got some eating habits and things to adjust to. But don't be, don't be out here acting like you all that. She got the nerve to say, uh, you know, he looked a little uncle. Yes, I am uncle, very proud uncle. But what is the look of an uncle? And more importantly, what are you really trying to say? What, because of my gray hair? This is hilarious to me. I know women who love my gray hair. And I guess I just need to stick with that and stop playing with this other stuff. But it, it, it just, it, it just, it messes with me only a little bit because of one main thing. Like I said, I really wasn't that interested, if I'm gonna be honest. She ain't my type. I just wanted to make another appearance on the show and make a name for myself. Like a lot of guys do when they come on this show. They realize, man, they don't care. As long as you're entertaining enough and coming decent and not being rude and crude, she'll have you because she knows, hey, the handsome guys are going to get looks. They're going to make the other guys jealous. That's going to create some friction. People going to call in more. She's going to get more $20 donations for people getting knocked off. All the stuff that happens on the show is going to happen. Melly know what she doing. Smart move, Melly. But... But what gets annoying about that process is you're not allowing the people who could make for better content overall because they actually know how to speak. They actually know how to address a lady. And even if I'm not feeling that woman like I wasn't really, you know, so it ain't the first time. There's been some other guys to slide by doing what my tactic was. I guess, okay, it wasn't meant to be. I'm okay with it because it probably would have gotten ugly if she had said too much of the wrong thing after I was really there to make sure she understood. Let me say something. She had the nerve to try to say that all, she didn't say all, but she said, yeah, in a way she did say all. Girl, they're weird. I, I mean, I don't know if it's an Atlanta thing, and truthfully speaking, like, they're weird. I, I mean, I don't know if it's an Atlanta thing, and truthfully speaking, like, they don't even really like women here. That's a whole nother story. She pretty much said that she felt that because of her dating experience in Atlanta, that most men here were gay. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> They don't like women, like uh, you're saying, women in general, so they're gay a little? Girl, they be down low. Oh, okay. 100%. Um, okay, and back to my list. Um now see, now you done stepped on the wrong feet. Baby, I'm from real ATL, and it ain't like that for all of us. 
It ain't all, it ain't like that for most of us. It ain't like that for the history of this city. And it's a total disrespectful insult to those who ain't walking that path to make it as if that's everybody. Now, for those who do, respectfully, that's they lane. But do not dare say that that's the identity of my city. The crown was built on some real stuff. And you're not going to disrespect the essence of every man that came before me, the father that raised me, the grandfathers that raised me, the uncles, the everybody. We some real ass men. Don't play around. Stop playing with the A-Town. Keep it up out your mouth. If you don't know what to say, it's a real thing. That's pure material. And at the end of the day, Melly is doing a show. And she wants to be entertaining. So when people like myself show up who have already been established as being Mr. Handsome. Okay. That's it. Uh, Joseph, hello. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Hi. Uh, I ain't. Oh. Okay, but I'm not going to say pineapple to you because you look kind of good. <laughs> okay. I'm, <not> <laughs> I'm going to come every now and then when I want to and do my thing because it's fun to just show up and it becomes another one of the personalities that are regulars on the show. I've been studying this show way before I ever had the nerve to push the button and say, okay, here's the link. Let me get on this thing and try it. She didn't She didn't take to her brother well. And the worst part about it, what made it so funny to me is all I really wanted to do, because I, I mean, she's an attractive woman. I'm not going to take no point. I don't take points away from what deserves points. It's just face-wise, take away the weaver weather, just your face. She's a pretty woman. I'm looking at the screen while I'm saying this because I put it on pause so I can make this quick video. She's a pretty woman. But pretty ain't enough when there's so many other fake attributes about you. You obviously wearing this weave. That ain't your real hair. What you really look like. And you got on a cake face of makeup. So take away all the stuff that's painted into your eyebrows and everything else. And what we got left? What we got left? <laughs> I mean, wait, I, I got a question. What, what type of drugs? I mean, I'm not really going to get into it. But I just didn't feel like telling a lie. You know what I'm saying? On but... top of all that nonsense. This one had the audacity that when a brother who called in from Philly, who straight up confessed on camera that his job, in addition to his other work, was he's a drug dealer. Not my words, the brother said it live in the damn show. And she had all the time of day to talk about it with him. She was fully entertained and engaged and fascinated with him. It took probably 10 minutes before she pineappled this brother. I mean, you know, it, this is what you want. Christian black woman with a really good weave. Asses and lashes. That's what I call them. Asses and lashes. I don't want no part of them. They are so, yeah. You want to sell a dime bag? Can't do it. He said he's not hands on, so he probably don't have the drugs in the house. Girl, he looked like he got the drugs behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what? What type? On what level are you? Yeah, I mean, I need to know because I'm looking at his background, and it's not, it's not giving big meat. You know what I mean? It's not. Yeah, giving... but you know, you gotta stay low, even when you're making. But not it that big. low. It's too low, girl. You gotta act like you're still regular. You're still not touching nothing, girl. Not with that wooden mirror, but. <laughs> You never loved this version of me standing in front of you, now did you? Remember? The biggest goddamn drug dealer in New York City. That's who the fuck you loved. What's hilarious about it is it shows a lot about the character of some women in today's modern society and how they operate and how they say they want certain things, but then when they're literally faced with the opposition of the stuff they say they don't want to tolerate, they'll tolerate it. Oh, they'll eat it, it, it crumb and peace. But let a real dude show up and become incorrect, and they'll have all these petty reasons for why they don't want to chit chat or want to at least be pleasant enough to have a small conversation, keeping the show flowing versus just the usual should be getting pineapple. The real dudes come in, and these fools half the time don't have the time of day for us. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, do you have uh, any kids? No. No, okay. no children, but I do have two dogs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a dog mom. So what should I do? What do you advise? Buy I a dog and die alone. That's about it. I'm single. Okay. Yeah, that's it.
Okay, how long you 